Hey everybody, I'm Peter from Offro Electric from channel that is about building four motor extreme monster truck and this is episode number 30. Sponsored by a wonderful Patreon patrons who help us with this channel, we have two new patrons, Jakub Pavlíček and Lyle Chapman. If you would like to become a part of our team, there is a link below. Last time we started to work on this second Tatra that we are going to use for our monster truck build. Today I really want to start it up. So what we are going to do, we will disconnect these pipes that go to the fuel tank and put some diesel into this and we'll try to pump it up into the engine and finally start that sucker. Wish me luck! I will get some diesel directed to this glass <clears throat> so I don't have to pump that much. And I will lose the vent screw that is on injector pump and then we will start to pump the fuel into the engine. Over here, here is that vent. We will lose this screw, this is the vent screw on the injector pump. <laughs> Do you see that? Okay, you can see the air. There is a lot of air in the system. Okay, so let's start pumping. Look at that air over here. I've been pumping here for five minutes. It seems like nothing goes there. No diesel and no even air. Diesel should go f from there out while I'm pumping. So it's not working so far. I think uh, the, this glass over here doesn't seal properly in this holder. Let's use the holder from first Tatra and we'll see. I think over here it somehow clicks inside, which doesn't happen in that second holder. Do you feel the pain? So, and the glass is full, it's starting working for some reason. Something changed here, maybe we have some chance now. It's a lot of fun, pump here, it's like 30 outside Celsius. And you pump like idiot <laughs> for 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Maybe we'll make just the episode about pumping 15 minutes. <laughs> wow, it looks like the air is out. I know. <laughs> it somehow quit working for some reason. Even though it is not completely pumped up, We'll try to we'll try to start it up because I am <laughs> I've been pumping here how many how many minutes like 30 minutes That's crazy. This that sucks. <laughs> it stopped pumping. I don't know what else I can do with that. I am not interested in combustion engines and I am trying to resuscitate here this f***er. 
Uh, I am tired of it. In two hours, two guys who work frequently on these engines will come here and we will make this engine running. And after I am sure that the engine runs, we will remove it and get f***ing rid of it. This Tatra will be disassembled a different way. Uh, you can see this, uh, this cab is junk, this corrosion is everywhere, holes everywhere, so we will not need to take it off of the frame. We'll keep it together with the frame and after the engine is out, we'll disconnect the, the frame, the auxiliary frame over here from the actual chassis. Then we'll lift it up with all the lines and air tanks and all that shit I don't need now. We'll lift it up and uh, pull the chassis from under it out and we will get it into the shop where I will disassemble just the chassis. That means we will do a lot of work outside but we will probably save a lot of time, a lot of episodes. Before the guys come here I would like to have something done today. Uh, so we will take this wheel off, lift it up because when they come here we would like to move the Tatra and try if actually the transmission is okay too. The tire has about I think like 96, 96 kilos, over 200 pounds, and the wheel is a steel wheel, somewhere also about 200 pounds. And now we will tie up these uh, half axles to the wooden pole so uh, it, when the engine starts then we can move the Tatra and check the transmission. <coughs> I think we don't need any wood, this will serve the purpose. So it's about five centimeters above the ground, so we put some air into these tires. I hope this tire will not explode. Look at the shape it is in. It's probably the worst one. We have some clearance here. This is all we have. <laughs> That's crazy. Let's get rid of these flaps because they block the access to the wheels. And the second side. way cleaner we can get everywhere now for uh, to those big bolts there is nothing to say just look and laugh <laughs> a genius fuel tank with a lid so no mess will fall in it
So we managed to start it up, but uh, there is the accelerator or lever got stuck, so it got into the maximum RPMs. Then we try to stop it, so we let air into it, and now we have to get air out of the system again. That's the f***ed up day. Those two young guys, they have a car repair shop and it's still not fucking done and we have no idea why that engine doesn't start. See you tomorrow. So it's another day and we'll try to get sucker running. It still doesn't f***ing work. So I'm going to jump to it. I'm going to jump to it for... Okay, we finally cleaned up the system. There was a lot of shit in the in the in the diesel, and uh, we have two news: one good, one bad. The good news is that the engine seems perfect. There is no strange noises from it. The bad news is that the injector pump uh, needs to be cleaned. This truck has been sitting there for four or five years and uh, is simply you cannot control the RPMs of the truck because, uh, because that control mechanism is simply not working now. So we will sell it the way it is for the price I'm going to get for it. Not much happy but better than nothing. We got a wonderful music from uh, next door. It's like 175 years old. That's awesome. I guess this truck will not need these batteries anymore. Action! I have no energy. <laughs> We have to get this engine out of this vehicle as soon as possible because working outside in this heat is horrible. So we'll start with this. Uh, this might be in the way when we lift it up, so let's get rid of it. And now the exhaust pi pipes. It 
it's so f***ing hot. I wanna be in the shop under the roof. And now the drive shaft. And that's it. <laughs> I have no emotions today. I have no fucking energy. <laughs> the main compressor line. And now disconnect the hydraulic clutch booster. We'll need the better access to the motor mount, so we'll get rid of the fenders. We'll get there much better now. There's a diesel in the tank for the heater. Heater is not there anymore, but there is somehow fuel in there. After all of this, we managed to disconnect everything from the motor except the fuel lines if somebody would like to start up the engine before they buy it and the motor mounts bolts. Everything else is disconnected. And because it's getting late and mosquitoes are eating us alive, uh, it will be rough for today. Stay tuned for the next episode because we are going to remove this engine and continue on this Tatra. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Consider also to become a, our Patreon Patron because you can get a lot of benefits from it. See you next time.